Hey, I want to show you a quick solution to problems with uh, Pro Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, when the whole picture disappears and becomes black simply as uh, just, just like this, everything is black, or you want to add the video and uh, Adobe Premiere Pro does not see the audio in the video and you should know for sure there is audio. Simple way to, to solve it is to go to Media Cache Files folder and if you don't know where to find it, uh, go to Preferences Media and the location of it will be shown here. Location. I have moved it to this location so uh, for you it will be somewhere else. And what you do, you need to do two things. First thing, go to this um, folder, find the files for the project. So let's say it's a feel good now project, highlight all the files and delete them. You probably will need to restart Premiere Pro. So delete all the files and then restart Premiere Pro and see if that fixed the problem. If the problem has been fixed or it hasn't been fixed or it came back quickly, you might need to do another step. And that would be doing deleting this and reinstalling drivers, for example, NVIDIA drivers. Um, either installing the latest drivers or actually rolling back to the previous drivers. So I have actually a folder where, let me find it quickly, video display driver, where I keep a lot of drivers for NVIDIA. And uh, this is the last but one. So I had problems with this one. Now I updated to a newer one and it seems to be working fine. This one was fine as well. And then when I had my other card, older card, um, I actually was forced to use even older drivers. I think uh, some of those drivers didn't work and, and I uh, had to use some other drivers. So let me tell you uh, more in detail now what exactly happened to me. Well, before I'll tell you, there are other actually solutions to this problem. So some people say that simply by um, toggling those buttons, they were able to, to get the picture back, but that usually didn't work for me. And obviously there is this workaround, which is not a solution, but it's a workaround. You go to project settings and switch from CUDA to software only, and that always works, but obviously that is not a solution. So as I said, roll back the drivers or update the drivers to the latest one, delete the media cache files uh, for the project, and you, you might need to do it in... Uh, the order doesn't matter, you know, you do it in one order or another order, do just one or do both, and see what works um, for you. So you just need to experiment. So what's my story? So initially I had um, uh, uh, NVIDIA GFX 660 with 2 gigs of RAM, and everything was kind of all right. Sometimes I was getting those, those problems, but not often. And then I updated from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. And from that moment on, I started having problems uh, of the following type. And um, I couldn't, when I put my computer to sleep and I woke it, um, Adobe Premiere would just crash immediately. Uh, the, and, and I would get a message, the driver has crashed uh, and you need to restart the Premiere Pro. So that wasn't good. I couldn't find a fix for it. Also, when I was working with, um, uh, with green screen and uh, especially working with um, choke and soft. So let's say if I go to, this is my video, yeah. And if I go to ultra key, and I would work with choke and uh, soft, and I would soften it as well. This is where it would usually happen. So the workaround would be avoiding those settings. But then if that it didn't always work. So another option uh, there was uh, was to toggle those uh, those things here uh, and uh, and a few other workarounds that that didn't really nothing really work other than rolling back the drivers. Um, also, when I worked with photos, not videos, but photos, obviously photos are usually bigger and I would use photos with green screen because I like to use Premiere Pro for actually working with green screen photos. Uh, I would have that problem as well. I would work for a minute with a photo and then bang gone, can't get it back. Uh, in uh, any way or form. Um, I didn't test actually at that time uh, removing media cache files. I didn't know this way. Um, so anyway, later on I updated to 
NVIDIA G GFX 1070, which I, I, which I have now, NVIDIA 1070. And I thought, you know, photos are bigger than HD, uh, full HD video, so maybe I need more RAM, obviously, for the graphics card. Now, that didn't solve the problem entirely. I still get problems sometimes with photos. However, it did solve the problem with uh, Premiere Pro crashing on uh, waking up. So that's, that's a good one. Uh, and now the only problem I have is every now and then when I update the NVIDIA drivers to the latest, I don't know, know really why I'm dating, I'm not a gamer but I just like to have the latest drivers. And, and obviously if the problem happens now I know what to do, I just roll back the driver to the previous one, uh, delete the media cache files for the project. Um, usually I do both at the same time, you know, but I think you, you are feel free to just de start with deleting this because that's the quickest way and if that doesn't work then do both delete and roll back the drivers um, and with the drivers it's a hit and miss you need to experiment with uh, I remember I used to with uh, I think it was the um, the previous graphics card the G GFX 660 uh, is it GFX or what am I saying? GTX, <laughs> NVIDIA GTX 660. Uh, I used to roll back to quite old drivers like those, or this one or this one, can't remember now. So these are quite old drivers actually. There is a big difference between uh, 6872 and uh, 314 or 344. It's like two years ago or, or something like this. So don't be afraid of installing old drivers. Even if you've got new uh, graphics cards like 1080, 10, 1070, 1060, the drivers from a year ago might still work very well and actually will not cause any problems with Premiere Pro. So basically that's it, that's how I've uh, solved my problems. Uh, thanks for watching guys uh, and thank you for all the lovely comments that I'm sure you're going to leave under this video. Take care, <laughs> bye.